So what is a digital image? A digital image is a numeric representation of a two-dimensional image. These images have a finite set of digital values called pixels. The image contains a fixed number of rows and columns of pixels. Pixels are the smallest individual element in an image, holding quantized values that represent brightness of a given color at any specific point. So let's break that down. A digital image is a file, a container of information. This information is essentially a big chunk of numbers that a computer or other device can read. This data is displayed as a two-dimensional image, and this means that it's flat. If you rotate the image, it looks the same, and you don't see any new information behind other objects, as you would in a 3D image. The basic building block of an image is a pixel, and a digital image has a fixed number of pixels arranged in columns and rows. Imagine that these blocks are pixels, and if we arrange them like this, we have an image that has 16 pixels in it. No matter how close or far we view this image, it only has 16 pixels. The amount of pixels in the image is referred to as the resolution. So an image that has 16 pixels would be a very low resolution image. Your camera will have millions of pixels called megapixels. Mega in this case means million, and it's often an approximation. For example, my cell phone has a 13 megapixel camera. The maximum resolution is 4,128 in the horizontal and 3,096 in the vertical. This makes a total of 12,780,288, not 13 million. Each one of those pixels holds a brightness value for a given color. Put all that together and we have a digital image. So how does your camera capture an image? There are several components involved in the process. First, since we are taking digital photos, your camera needs a battery because your camera is a computer and all computers need power. It's not what you think of when you think of a computer, but it works just like a computer. It has a power system, the battery, a processor, just like your CPU, temporary memory, which is like RAM, data storage, the memory card, a display, just like your computer monitor, and it has an image sensor. The camera's primary function is to take information from the image sensor, process it, and store it on the memory card. The act of doing this is what you think of as taking a photo. Now comes the important bit, the information on the sensor. An image sensor is a device that converts an optical image into an electric signal. When light strikes the chip, it creates a small electrical charge in each photo sensor. These charges are converted into voltage one pixel at a time as they are read from the chip. Additional circuitry in the camera converts the voltage into digital information. This means that the sensor is an analog device. It takes something from the natural world and converts it into electricity, similar to this piezo element. This is a crystalline material that creates voltage when pressure is applied. Let's check it out. I have this element connected to a voltage meter and watch what happens when I push on it a little bit. Voltage is created. This is very similar to your image sensor on your camera. When light hits the sensor, it creates an electrical charge. The camera reads the charge off the sensor and it gets recorded. Now, if I push on this element, can it tell me who is pushing on it? Can it tell me if the thing pushing on it is hard or soft? No. Similarly, a single pixel sensor on your camera's imager cannot tell what color the light is. It only knows how much light is hitting it. To determine the color, a filter is placed in front of the sensor that can only let certain wavelengths of light pass through. If blue was over this pixel, only blue light would pass through and your camera knows that this pixel is always blue. An image sensor has a set number of pixels. Say it's 50 by 50, a square imager. Over this 50 by 50 sensor sits a filter, probably a Bayer filter. A Bayer filter was created by Bryce Bayer to mimic the physiology of the human eye. Because we are more sensitive to green light, 50% of the filter is green, 25% is red, and the other 25% is blue. When an image is captured, your camera's processor interpolates where the rest of the colors should go. 
At low resolutions, this looks really terrible, but at high resolutions, it works just fine. We will talk about how the image gets compressed later on, but first, let's look at exposure. 